Today's video is sponsored by the Doggone Good Clicker Company. Click thumbs up if you love puppy videos. Also, tell me in the comments below, which do you think is the cutest type of puppy ever? I think it's corgis, I really do. Oh, ow. I've got Bailey, the 13-week-old corgi puppy, with me today, and we're gonna have a puppy clicker training session. And you'll learn everything you need to be a great clicker trainer. Plus, we're gonna cover a few tricks that you can train with the clicker today. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and pick up a copy of my book, Dog Training Revolution. You can also download the audio version, too. Clicker training is way simpler than you imagine. This sound means, yeah, I like what you're doing. It's a fast, accurate way to teach your dog that you like what they're doing at that exact moment. It just takes a sec to teach your dog that this sound means they've done something you wish to see repeated. This is how you do it. I'm just gonna click, I'm gonna wait a second, and I'm gonna treat. Today I'm using really small pieces of turkey to reward Bailey with. Well, the size of your treat should be about the size of a small pea. Usually after just a few attempts of doing this, most dogs will start to make the connection. Many people make the mistake of thinking that the click means that you're actually asking your dog to do something, but actually the click should occur after your dog does something you like. That artificial sound that the clicker makes is super clear and it's consistent every single time. And when your dog learns that that sound equals something fun, like a treat, they'll be more committed to training. You'll become better at timing with practice as you clicker train and that will dramatically accelerate your progress. So where do you get everything you need to clicker train your dog? This is the perfect starter kit. This is the click and play pack from the doggone good clicker company. And it's got absolutely everything you need to clicker train your dog. You get three styles of clickers with wristbands and these all make a different sound too. Notice how this one is quieter over here. If your dog tends to get a little bit nervous, that one might be the one for you. A rapid reward pouch. This is the best treat pouch on the market right here. Collapsible water bowls, this flying treat and tug frisbee. Yes, you can use this instead of food if your dog loves toys. A cute bandana and a nice bag to carry it all in. And they also personalize many items like this shirt. I love this shirt. It really does make an awesome gift if you know anyone who's got a dog. They'll even gift wrap it for you if you want. And I'll have a link in the description that'll have a special discount code, especially for viewers of the Dog Training Revolution. One of my favorite tricks to teach a young dog like Bailey is how to shake. So we're gonna see if we can get her to offer her paw. Now there are a number of ways that you can teach this. And I'll have a more detailed video in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and tickle the back of her paw and if she, if she moves it, I'm gonna click right there. She moved it. She didn't shake yet, but she moved it. So I wanna mark that behavior the instant she does it with the click. Yes, good. She lifted it accidentally there, it looked like, but that's okay. I'm still gonna click and reward. I don't care which foot she uses right now. And you might be wondering, well, what's wrong with saying good girl or good dog? There's nothing really wrong with that, but you'll find that your timing is gonna be way better when you've got that button in your hand to press the moment your dog does something you like. Let's try the other paw and see if we have luck with it. Oh, look at that, did you see that? I'm gonna distract her a little bit. Whoa, look at that, right there, okay. So, we went a different angle there, and I just kinda, good. I just kinda put the treat at her nose as if to get her to lift up a little bit. Yes, good job. And when she lifts both paws up, I still like that, but that's not what I'm teaching right now, so I'm going to ignore that. Yes, good. Shake, there it is. If we continue to work on that, she'll have this down perfect in no time. Let's move on to our next trick now. Why don't we teach her how to spin around? This one's always a crowd pleaser. Ready? Good, nice work. Did you see what I did there? I just guided her a little bit, and then I clicked to let her know I like that she's doing a partial spin. All right, look at that, nice work. Let's see if we can get her to go a little bit farther now. Good, really good. Look at that, oh, she's getting this quick here. And I'm gonna just click and reward every time she makes a full circle. If your dog wasn't following it this quick, then you would just ease them into it and click for the little bit of progress they were offering. A lot of times people ask me, well, my dog will respond to the lure, but how do I turn that into a hand signal? And that's not always so black and white. So let me see if I can give you a visual as to how to do that here. So whereas we're luring here with spin, we eventually want to phase that into spin, like that, for example. So we're going to try and get her into a groove. I'm going to train fast here. Good, nice work. Whoops, too quick that time. Look at that, there we go. So we're starting, I'm still luring though. Good, good, nice work. Good, right there, did you see that? That was less of a lure, and that was kind of like a partial hand signal. Now look, no treat, 
Ready? Yes, spin. Kind of faked her out a little bit. She doesn't know that I don't have a treat, but we're starting to phase in a hand signal. Look at that. And the reason I'm going kind of fast here, you'll find that when you get momentum like this, you really want to keep it going. Yes, so your dog doesn't really have a chance to think about other things. Yes, there was a good one. Nice work. And you can see how clicker training really can speed up your progress. Good job. Look at the leash. <laughs> Got all spun up because she keeps spinning. So now we're gonna teach touch it, which is a really cool trick. I like to think of this one as a foundation trick because it sets up a lot of other tricks in the future where you need your dog to interact with various things. It's really simple. I'm just gonna start by letting Bailey know I've got a treat here. Good, fine. I like that she interacted with my hand right there. And we're just gonna wait here because I think she's probably going to see there's no treats on the ground there. And she's, yep, there you go. That worked last time, so she's more likely to repeat it this time. See that? Touch it. You're doing great. And I'm saying touch it just to kind of put a word to what she's doing so she knows what it is that I'm asking for in the future. Touch it. Once they get it, they'll really get it. And you need to be there to acknowledge when they do. Hey, what's this? What's this? What's my hand? Yes, perfect. Nice work there. Let's see if we can get touch it up here. Yes. Touch it over here. Touch it. Good. Speaking of click, click thumbs up for Bailey. Check the description. We'll have a special discount for the click and play pack from the Dog on Good Clicker Company. And thank you so much to our supporters on Patreon too. I've got some great rewards over there for our supporters. We really appreciate that you make these videos possible. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel too and pick up a copy of my book, Dog Training Revolution. Everything is below. Come here, short legs. See you guys in the next video.